NoteFlight is an online cloud-based website in which you can create scores. NoteFlight will let you to create up to about 10 scores in the free version. I've got space for one more and today I'm going to take you through the basic functions in getting started in NoteFlight. To create a new score, we can press Create Score. NoteFlight will ask me, do I want to start from a blank score or import an XML or MIDI files? For today, we're going to start with a blank score. Press OK. When we're in our blank score, we can set up score information, we can choose from this guide tools that we want to use, and of course we can compose music on the staff. Let's get set up. To use NoteFlight, you will need to come to the left hand side and select the tools that you want to be available in the toolbar at the top. The basic three that I like to have available are duration, so that we can select rhythm, pitch, so that we can transpose, choose sharp and flat notes, and measure. This allows us to change key, time signature, and bar lines. With duration, pitch, and measure ticked, we now have the tools that we need to get started. All pieces of music that you have in NoteFlight should be given a title. There's nothing worse than having 10 untitled scores and then trying to find the one that you'd like to work on. I'm going to call mine NoteFlight Tutorial. And I'm the composer. Now that we have our score set up and our tools ready to use, we can explore some of the basic functions. You can close the window at the side or you can leave it open if you want other functions. We're only going to be using functions from duration, pitch and measure, so I'll close it up. Now that we're in our score, we can look at inputting notes. To input a note, you click on the rest in the bar and you'll see that the playhead appears and so does a note head. The note head moves with your cursor. When you find the note that you want, you can simply click to select that note. To input your next note, you can follow the same process, or to input a note above, you click on the note head and select your next note. Click on the highlighted note head, input the next note. As a simple way of doubling up on what you've just put in, you could create this again manually by clicking, clicking, and clicking some more, or alternatively, you can press R on your keyboard. R is the replicate function, and by pressing R, it will replicate over the highlighted note. When inputting a melody in NoteFlight, we can follow the same process. However, we can simply press the note on the keyboard that we'd like to insert. I'd like to start my melody on the note C, so I'll press C on my keyboard. To put in my next note, I can use the alphabet. Alternatively, I can press R and use my arrows. Pressing R and using your arrows is a highly efficient way to input a melody. Now that I have my melody in, well, not really a melody, perhaps more of a bass line and not played in the correct hand of piano, now that I have my notes in, I can manipulate them in different ways. To change the rhythm of a note, we can select the note, move up to our duration tab, and select a different note. I've selected an eighth note and I can replicate it to fill up the space where the rest happened. Say I don't want that note and I want to rest, I can simply press delete. Experiment with changing your notes. By replicating, I can easily and quickly fill up the space with a melody. Perhaps I want some of my notes to be sharps or flats. To do this, I can use the measure section. However, if I want an individual sharp or flat, I can do it in the pitch section. Let's say that I'd like to change my piece of music into the key of G major. I could place accidentals in each time I have an F. Alternatively, I can highlight my entire score and add in the key signature for G major. You'll notice that my sharps have disappeared 
and that I now have a key signature over at the side. Let's finish this off with a couple of other useful bits of information. Now that I've decided that my piece of music is going to be in G major, my current melody isn't really going to work because it's based around the C triad. I can simply move this to a G by clicking in the bar and transposing it up. And I can do the same thing with my sections of melody. Move it up to a G, move this up to a D. So this is the basic introduction to note flight. In this tutorial, we covered changing rhythms, adding sharps or flats, changing the key, inputting triads, inputting a melody, and transposing by highlighting and using the arrows.